Well, the good news is that now there is a competition. The fear we could have was that uh, all uh, key countries would focus elsewhere on emerging giants, of course China and India and Brazil, but also uh, newcomers. And the good news is that now all leaders consider that Africa is the new hope, the uh, new hope for growth, development, promises for a better economic future. And so there is a competition. It is a good competition, a positive competition, and it is for the African leaders uh, to uh, play with these competitors, uh, to organize themselves to take the best from this competition, and in my view also to organize a level playing field. It's very important, at least for all friends of Africa, that the same rules are uh, accepted and implemented by all actors. That is the key question. Uh, we have a lot of frustration in some countries about maybe the lack of a development, but when it comes, maybe a development which benefits only to a minority. And for African leaders, all of them, a key question is how can we take advantage of this new growth which is coming, the fact that Africa is the hope for uh, our world in the 21st century to uh, transfer this hope to the young generations, to the whole population, that they see that this growth coming means better education, better health, better infrastructures, and a future, a job for each citizen in each country. I think it's up to the African leaders to decide how they want to play the cards they have in their hands. They can do it separately, they can do it through regional organizations, they can set rules at the level of the African Union. I'll just give an example. It would be good if for the extractive industries there was a set of rules adopted by African leaders, uh, transparency and so on and so forth. It is up to African Union regional organization to decide if this is a possibility or not. In my view, it would be better, uh, but that's for the African leaders to uh, decide.